質問だ右の拳で殴るか左の拳で殴るか当ててみな一思に右でやってくれ No 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 <笑>左 No 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 <笑>両方ですか Yes 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 This is Baruch Yes I do not know what kind of fungus the lotus has been smoking, but this is definitely not Baruch. I am Lord Farquaad. Is more accurate. Anyway, swaz the lie, you freaking weirdos. How the hell are ya? Baruch, a Warframe advertised to be kinda like John Wick when in reality, Detective Mike Lowry is far more befitting. Damn, I'm calm! I'm calm! What? Hey! Whoa! Wow! I am way too unstable for that bullshit! You can acquire this dude from Little Duck at Fortuna. Where you can grind for standing and drank up until you can afford Baruch. Which I can wholeheartedly recommend, if you hate your life. Otherwise buying him with platinum from the market might be a better option. This kung fu hustle boy is easily one of the most devastating forces in Warframe to date. He can evade a lot of damage. Crowd control enemies for days and mop the floor with anything on the star chart. Brock is fairly user friendly and does not require a PhD to build and play effectively. So let's dive right into this shit and get it over with. Bad boy for life man's passive ability is restraint, which is a small circular gauge at the bottom right of the screen. It starts out as full charge. Depleting it can grant you up to 50% damage reduction. You can deplete this by using your first, second and third abilities. Which makes the damage reduction from it totally irrelevant because all of those abilities are either crowd control or evasion. Last time I checked, enemies that cannot attack you to begin with do not need to have their damage reduced, right? Right. However, your fourth ability will slowly fill this restraint back up. Once full, you cannot use your fourth ability. So some attention and maintaining will be required but that's easy peasy. So no need to shit yourself. Time to strike into the first ability. Getting jiggy with it but at the speed of light. Getting jiggy with it. Baruch turns into an actual glitch in the matrix and does that creepy shit you will see in a number of horror flicks. All you need to know about this ability is that as long as you do not attack, this ability will ghost all incoming damage in a 180 degree angle in the direction your frame is facing. If you attack, you take damage. So this is essentially perfect for a picture book bottom. Anyway, the main reason you might use this is to kick things off with depleting your restraint. Since you cannot use your fourth ability if your restraint is full, each bit of damage evaded will reduce your restraint. Which is a good thing in case you have not caught onto that yet. There you go. You are now a professional scrub. Moving on. LOL. This ability lays down a field of boredom that puts enemies that step into it to sleep. But not instantly though. It will take a short moment for enemies to be completely knocked out however, on their way there, they get slower and slower. A couple things are at play here that no one seems to know about. Probably because they do not matter in the slightest. But for one, fools who are put to sleep are also open to finishers. That one is pretty cool I guess. If enemies wake up from taking damage, they will be put right back to sleep. Haha <laughs> yeah right. I'd like to see that happening when they are dead within seconds but okay. Enemies affected by this ability also have their alertness reset to zero. So in a sense, Baruch has that little mind-wiping gadget from Men in Black. Now I will be honest with you, that might sound interesting but is useless. There is not a single situation in the game where that is needed in any shape or form. Unless you are trying some freakish and annoying way to solo level up. 
In all honesty, the only reason you will ever need this ability is to control a choke point, help deplete your restraint or, as a bit of a panic button to reduce the heat on you and or your team. Beside those few scenarios, you will forget this even exists. Next Ability Life of Real Hands Bar Yuk surrounds himself with levitating arrows that reduce 10% damage each. You cannot exceed 90% damage reduction by any means. These arrows will seek out nearby enemies and disarm them, which creates a beautiful synergy. You see, as you lose arrows and with that also lose damage reduction, you therefore disarm and very briefly stun the goobers that could otherwise shoot at you. Beside all that, you can recast this ability at all times and replenish the damage reduction to max potential. In addition, allies such as other players, companions, sentinels and defense targets will gain their very own arrows with the same effects as the original ones. Since you do not lose your own but rather pull a magical arrow out of your ass somehow for all of your comrades, this ability has no downside at all. You will want to keep this up at all times and refresh periodically. Swooshing across the map to pass as many enemies as possible is a nice way to exploit this ability since you effectively hit more fools with it and disarm them, thus reducing threat levels considerably. Using a companion instead of a sentinel would assist you with this endeavor since companions move around fairly independently while sentinels stick to your ass like bubble gum to your shoes. There are some more irrelevant things that this ability does but they are literally so irrelevant that they might as well not be a thing to begin with. Next up. Can share a North Star. Baruch does a fairly convincing Bruce Lee cosplay. Why did you kill my teacher? Why, 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 why? and Brain acts the final scenes from Kung Fu Hustle. This ability is not rocket science to understand since you simply activate it and spam me like a filthy Excalibur or Wukong main. But, there are a few things you will want to know. As mentioned earlier, your fourth ability replenishes your restraint while it is active. You can balance that out by using your other three abilities. As long as your restraint is not completely filled, you can use this North Star rip off as long as you want. In turn, it does not cost any energy at all. Which is why Barok really does not require any energy mods. The next thing you need to understand is that Desert Wind is actually two separate melee entities. One is your actual physical hands, the other are the fancy looking airbender tribal waves you emit when throwing hands. Both have different mechanics. Your actual fists do fist things, not much to note there. However ground finishers deal 1600% extra damage and standing finishers deal 6400% extra damage. <laughs> Which is crazy and unnecessary because nothing will survive you one way or another. The Buddha hand waves are pretty cool but also unbelievably overpowered. For one, having this ability active further reduces incoming damage by up to a maximum of 40%. Your sexy waves will also deflect incoming projectiles like bombard missiles and similar shit. No. 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 The waves also have a chance to permanently disarm enemies hit by them. Some of your stance combos can create a vortex effect that pulls enemies in close, which is really nice for using a charged attack, which should satisfy the red crit whores among you. Not that anything will require this little trick since everything you look at will be dead. These desert wind waves also travel through everything, no matter how thick. Range mods taunt to shit for you, there. Here is my Baroque build. And here is my build for the bitch slap hands. Now before the simps among you complain about how bad this build is for whatever retarded reasons you pull out of your asses, let it be known that this build absolutely murders steel path enemies and you basically never ever die or run out of energy. The playstyle behind this build is simple. Start by putting the first large group of goons to sleep to instantly reduce a chunk of your restraint and allow yourself to use your fourth. Then keep your floating arrows on at all times, 
And finally, you just beat the crap out of anything that moves. If you are anywhere else other than highest steel path levels, then you can do whatever you want. On a final note about Baruch, is he good? Yes absolutely, I mean, come on. He does not die ever unless you screw up and he kills everything with no fucks given. But to me, he is surprisingly boring to play. Not only does he trivialize literally everything Warframe can throw at you, no, but he also does not require any brains to build or play effectively. Just slap on reactive storm and you basically won. But that is just me, perhaps. You will find this Warframe really fun. Now then, it is time for you to like and subscribe to this shitty channel, and fuck off. Sie <laughs>